last time on Adventureland. Is this blue ox going to um, disappear into the quicksand if I try to grab it? Well, notice there are no obvious exits. Oh shit, you're right. I'm trapped. Yeah, so... How does one escape quicksand? I don't actually know. Oh, in real life, you mean? Uh, I think, in real life, I think you like, um... Actually, I don't know that either. I, I did at one point. Well, you, you try to stay horizontal as much as possible. That makes sense. And try to, like, get something that you can grab onto. Yeah. Quicksand is often actually not that dangerous as long as you don't do any of the instinctive things. Like flail it's around. Not too, yeah, like flail around and, like, try to, like, run out of there. That's Those are bad things. I can't. But going sideways usually uh, is a, gives you enough to uphold hold you and then you just you know you just need something to grab onto that can you can pull out of i i wanted to write flail around but for I, apparently i can't actually spell the word flail <laughs> that's pretty i swear i knew how to spell that word at some point in my life you, you were spelling it at one point then you erased it flail a i l flail Flail. Flail about. That's probably for the best. Can I chop the bog? I don't think that's that's helpful. Okay, it doesn't even know what the word bog. So, um... No. That's a no. I can't do that. Um... Hints? Help? Help, I'm, di I'm drowning in quicksand. Well, uh, there's always uh, reloading your save. <laughs> but... Um, do you have, like, what else is in your inventory? Uh, I've got a lamp, an axe, mm -hmm. water in a bottle, a ring of skeleton Wait, wait, wait. The, ma the axe has something on it. Can I invoke right? the power of Bunyan? I mean, it says that it's a magic word. Yep. Why not? Invoke Bunyan. Oh my god, I did not expect invoke to be the correct word. Uh, it didn't. Oh. I-N-V is short for inventory. Oh. <laughs> I invoked the power of Bunyan and it told me my inventory. So invoke is not a verb that you can use. Yep, okay, what's the ver verb? Cast? Read? Maybe if I just read Bunyan out loud. Well, what's another word for reading aloud? Say. Just say Bunyan. Scream it into the darkness. Something I'm holding vibrates. And... It's gone. Now, it's gone. F fucking thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Bunyan gods. <laughs> I was using that axe. Um... Yeah, no, it's gone. It, it, it ditched me. The axe ditched yep. me. The axe ditched you. It said, <laughs> this bog is so over. Bruh. <laughs> the, 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 the freaking asshole axe. Better call me back later. Left me in a quicksand bog. <laughs> I hit F11 and uh, F L elephant. <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay, I hit F11 and a light turned on. I'm just gonna hit that. Uh, yeah, hit it again. we will go back. Up. Ah! What have I done? Oh, it wasn't F11 that you hit. It was F12. So, I almost hit F10. Just trying to troubleshoot it. That would have gone great. <laughs> well, so okay, you still want to hit? Uh, well, you haven't told me I've doomed myself yet, so I'm assuming I'm not doomed. Um. I can't. I, before you give me a hint, I may, um, I may just try and use everything on everything, as is standard <laughs> with these games. Yep. So to use something on something, you have to. I have to figure out the verb for it. Yeah, you can't just say use. That never works. Uh, okay. I've got a brass brass lamp, so I guess I could light things on fire with that. Illuminate. How would that you be able to light things on fire? Well, the lamp has fire in it, presumably. 
Well, it doesn't say that the lamp is actually giving off any light at oh, the that's moment. That's a good point. Let me take a look at the lamp. That's very descriptive. Thank you. Um, I could pour out my water. That seems pretty pointless, though. I could throw the I could throw the slime around. I can always get more, I think. No, oh, I can only throw the axe. Well, the axe ditched me, so um. <laughs> Guess your throwing t time is up. <laughs> yep. Um. You could always drop the slime if you just wanted to put it on the ground. Well, that's true. That didn't do anything. Okay. Um. Let's unlock the sand. Yeah, you don't I know what like sand the is. Way you're thinking. <laughs> But, yeah, sand and bog are both words that it doesn't understand, so... I don't think I can interact with the area. Yeah, I think that's safe to say. I'm gonna get my slime back. Taking my slime back. Perhaps I should just let myself go under and see if I end up in some magical cavern. Cav cavern. Yep, that, that's certainly a possible. Um, I'm not sure how you can go under, though. Down? Uh, if it doesn't say down is an obvious exit, then you can't use the ah those things. Drown. Just. I like the way you're thinking. Just perish. <laughs> <laughs> so D R O is short for drop. So I think you misunderstood drown as drop. <laughs> I really appreciate the all caps though. It's yeah, just like right? huh? What? <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> that sounds bad. <laughs> uh, maybe you hold still. Maybe just still. Stop doing things. Cease and desist. That's not what I meant. I'm assuming if I say hold still, that's just going to give me an air. It's a good guess. Um, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how to allow me to continue. To <laughs> I do not know how to allow things. <laughs> There. Just edit that over there. It's fine. Um, All right. Well, I think you could learn uh, some interesting stuff by continuing to toy around with what you've got. But I'm just going to tell you that uh, it, the, the only way out of here is not worth doing and that you're going to want to reload your game no matter what. And I'm not saying that you can't figure things out while you're here, but ultimately you're going to have to reload your save. All right. Fair enough. Somebody just Discord messaged me. I think that was in the recording. I didn't hear it. Well, no. It was on my side of the recording. Ah. <sighs> Damn you, whoever the hell Discorded me. You've ruined my recording permanently. It's entirely your fault. I'm just gonna... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That's fine, I guess. This is fine. Alright, so, uh, to reload a save, I just restart... You just type quit. Or just that that was not it. But yeah, just, this is fine. Oh, wait. I need to. Dur it's just adventure. Yeah. Another Discord message. These fools, don't they know I'm recording? You should probably silence your Discord notifications. Yeah, hold on. Um. All right, that should do it. I guess I should put one down on the fail count. Yay! Yay, I'm fine. That never happened. It's, mm -hmm. This is fine. Oh, damn it. <laughs> All right, now I'm in the swamp. Um... Okay, so we know that there is a treasure that you can't get to. Yeah, I'm going to... I got to... I got to... Um, bog... I was really expecting this map to be larger. I made my map tiny. 
Well, you know, we haven't, uh, we still, there are some areas that we have not explored. Don't forget. Right. Um, all right. So there's more swamp. Um, let me, uh, let me uh, just, uh, interrupt and ask you a question. Yes. Are you, do you recognize the significance of a blue ox? No. Ah, uh, okay. I'm glad I asked then. Do you know who Paul Bunyan is? I, that's a person I've I've heard the name before. Paul Bunyan was a mythological figure, uh, part of American folklore. He was a lumberjack, and he was an uh, incredible lumberjack. He was incredibly strong, and he could fell trees faster than any other lumberjack. Right. And in some versions, he was like 12 feet tall, you know, or et cetera, et cetera. His... Uh, his pet was a blue ox named Babe. Ah. So the small statue of the blue ox might have something to do with the axe. Oh, I have my axe back. Yes, you do have your axe. Ah, welcome back to welcome back axe. Thank you for um, disappearing <laughs> on me that one time. That was really nice of you. Um, what happens if I say Bunyan without being in a death situation? That's a really good question. Suddenly I'm holding vibrates and... It's gone. It ditched me and again. I'm, and I'm bitten by chiggers. <laughs> Thanks, Axe. You suck. Oh. Now, if you type inventory this time, uh, you'll be able to see your chigger bites. Yep. All right, let me get that mud. Mud. Aha. I am saved. You are saved. I don't know why mud cures chigger bites, but that's fine, I guess. You know, I think mud is, is used to prevent sugar bites in the real world. The chiggers can't bite through the mud. But, you know, this is game logic. Game logic, yep. <laughs> well, this is this is uh, early game logic. Yeah. And this is also a magic world, so maybe the mud's magical. It is evil, apparently. <laughs> evil smelling? What does that even mean? What's the smell of evil? <laughs> <laughs> It just usually means that it makes you want to get as far away from it as possible and not rub it on your skin. Huh. Well, I did that anyway. Yes, you did. All right, let's see. Where have I not gone that I can't well, go? I can think of uh, a couple places you haven't gone. Mm -hmm. And they are both round and dark. The hole. Both holes. There's two holes. There's two holes that you have not explored. All right, to the hole. The hole is, I'm in the swamp, so the hole is east. I am on a ledge just below the rim of the bottomless hole. I don't think I want to go down. Visible items, flint and steel. St flint and steel here. Huh. And exits are up and down. Up? I can go up? And down. And down. Yes, I could jump into the bottomless hole, but I feel like something inside me is telling me that's a bad idea. That would be the part where the screen says, I don't think I want to go down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that worked. Uh, that gave me a flint and steel. I have flint and steel. Mm -hmm. I can light my lamp. Ah. <gasps> Lamp burns with a cold, flameless blue glow. Huh. Okay, is up just back? Okay, up is back. All right. Excellent. That's good to know. Um. For science? I'm going to save my game. And, um. <sighs> for science! To the hole! I think I'm in real trouble now. There's a fellow here with a pitchfork and a pointed tail. Oh, hell. Wait, how did a bottomless... Shouldn't the bottomless hole go through hell? I hit my microphone again. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> you lost all treasures. This adventure is over. <laughs> hmm, how could I have seen this coming? Yes. So it's not a bottomless pit. It's just a hole to hell. It's a hell -evator. Maybe this is Terraria. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, you know, it's not saying, I mean, maybe the hole doesn't stop at hell. Maybe it keeps going down. You just like, you just got stuck there because, <laughs> you know, hell. Yes. Hell. <laughs> All right. Uh, where was the, where was the other hole? Was that in the bottom of the stump? Yes. Okay. Um... Oh, and I, I'm going to tell you something right now. Yeah. This is something that uh, modern adventure games don't do nearly as much, but it was pretty standard in this time period. Mm-hmm. Light sources typically run out. Oh they are shit! Not, they are not infinite in life. So, at some point, your lamp may run out of fuel. That was, that was, infinite lamp is sort of a game logic I was expecting. Yep, yep. Uh, it wasn't one that people were quite willing to accept back then, or at least uh, game programmers weren't. It, it, it destroyed verisimilitude, you know. Mm. Now, they could say that, you know, this, this lamp might last for hundreds of turns. It's hard to be sure. It does seem to be magical. Yes. So, something to keep in mind, though. All right. To the hole we go. I am in a semi-dark hole by the root chamber. Visible items, locked door. I have keys. That's awesome, because the only exit is up. Well, not anymore. Boom! Dark door with a hallway beyond. Go door? Nope. Go hallway. Aha. I am in a long down sloping hall. Sloping is spelled with two P's, isn't it? No, that would be slopping. Okay. Okay, that's just my dyslexia. I thought I thought I was just a, I thought the hall was just slopping. <laughs> Remember double letter means short vowel before it. Right. Okay. Down the hall. D down the hall. I am in a large cavern. I should north, south, west, up, and down. I need to be writing this down. Okay, so yes, there's that, and then there's door, and then there's the hall, and then there's the cavern. Mm-hmm. And this goes goes up to and down. Five out of six possible exits. Okay, so this is a major nexus. Clearly. Jeez, my map is gross. I'm not sure if I want to post this on the internet. This map. <laughs> it's it's sad. It's This is your first ever text adventure map. It's it's gonna be a little messy. That's just the way it is. I might have to post it. I might have to put it at the end of the video just because it's so pathetic. Or probably at the <laughs> end of the series. <sighs> okay, so which direction first? Um, to the south, I suppose. I am in a royal anteroom. Visible items? Empty wine bladder. What's an anteroom? Like an antechamber? Does that help? Not exactly. So, uh, it just means a chamber before the important chamber. Ah, so, like, specifically in the context of royal, typically mm -hmm. the antechamber was the room, the waiting room, that led to the throne room. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to write ant on that square. I'm sure that won't be confusing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me that, give me that wine bladder, I guess. I guess... I have an inventory limit? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's a normal thing in most games, isn't it? Um. Some. So it depends on the type of game. Not usually in adventure games. No. Oh, every adventure. Every text adventure game has an inventory limit. Some of them are more complicated than others. Zork had a complex one where each item had a certain. Uh, bulkiness to it and you had like an overall bulkiness limit so they had sort of a weight limit kind of thing yeah except that it was more based on like how much space the item took up rather than how much it weighed it was complicated right. yeah in, in the scott adams adventures typically you can only carry six or seven items right. in each game gonna, just has a set limit that's not your spell drop i'm gonna drop my mud since i've already used that all right give me that 
um, wine bladder. There's going to be a treasure in the throne room, probably, and I'm not going to have enough room to take it. Hmm. Uh, uh, do I really need a wine bladder? Maybe that's I'll, a really good question. I'm going to leave this here for now. I can always come back. All right. Um, north. Why can't I go up? What do you mean? You can go up. Oh, yeah, up. Wait, I came from the south. Okay. I just... Well, you came from the north. You came south. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I should go up. Up is the way forward. I'm in a royal chamber. Visible items. Bricked up window. Down is the only obvious exit. Okay. Um, do I have anything in my inventory to get rid of a bricked up window? Uh, well, I had an axe. But it ditched me. Frickin' axe. Okay, okay, so I don't... I If I had an axe, maybe I could hit the window, the bricks with an axe. I don't know. I think mm -hmm. I, I probably need a hammer for that. Yeah, an axe not, isn't the best tool for for bricks. But it's better than what you got on you. Yeah, let me just... I'm just gonna look at this a little co closer. Okay, nothing. Um, no thrones in here. No treasures boring room. Well, there's probably something beyond that window since it is hard to get through. Yeah, I just, I need a, um... Yeah, we need something. What does one get the, what does one use to break a bricked up wall in the real world? It's like a wrecking ball. I mean, it's not an easy thing. Probably a hammer in this case. Yeah. A big hammer. Yes, yeah, like a sledgehammer. Okay. All right. Keep our eyes peeled for a sledgehammer. Yep. Fortunately, there's lots of stuff here. To, uh, lots of places to explore still. Yep. Okay, so now uh, to the south, I guess. Okay, the south leads back around to the antechamber. No. The south is how you got to the antechamber You're the right. first time. You're totally correct. My sense of direction Did you mark it down your map? You, yeah. Did you mark it down your map wrong? No, I just... um. Apparently, the concept of um, going south and then going back north to um, get to where you came from broke my brain. <laughs> okay. So I want to go north. So we're going to try going north for the first time. <laughs> yes. I am in a long tunnel. I hear buzzing ahead. This sounds totally fine and safe. Oh, yeah. Bees. There's bees. They're coming. The bees are coming. I can hear them buzzing. Yep. All right, just gonna save. Save, save. And now, onwards to the bees. The bees. The bees. Yay, bees! Okay, never mind. It's, I'm in limbo. Bees sting me. I'm dead. <laughs> Apparently, I have a. I'm definitely allergic to bees. I am in a large misty room with strange, unreadable letters over all the exits. Visible items. Sign says, "Limbo. Find right exit and live again." Oh, good. So I'm in limbo now. I'm just gonna put limbo His, off to the side. It, this is Scott Adams' early adventures. When you killed yourself, you are often given a chance to like res uh, resume your game. So it usually, a lot of times, it wasn't worth it because you would have, like, whatever you left behind, you'd have to just go down there and get. So it's usually better just to reload your game. But it's worth trying. It doesn't hurt to try. So you have exits in every single direction. Yep. Um, start with north, I guess. I'm in an endless corridor. I imagine this goes nowhere. I imagine you're probably right. Okay, back. Um, east. <gasps> I'm back in the forest! <laughs> so it's perhaps... It, I, I'm assuming if I go there again, um, east won't be the right exit again. Oh, for Limbo? Yeah. No, I would assume that the map doesn't change. Well, I just... I was wondering if I should bother marking Limbo on my map. As a general rule, if I ever went to Limbo, I just quit and loaded my save game. 
Right. Typically speaking. But, you know, yeah, I don't know. It's up to you. All right, so if I go... I can't go south. So and... Not back to the bees. Um, all right, uh, let's try east. I know there is east no is east. The one direction you can't go. You're right, there is no east. Uh, okay, up. Nope, that's where I just came from. Makes sense. All right, down it is then. It's also west. Oh, there is also west. Yeah, you didn't, uh, there's no east, but there's a west. I am in a maze of pits. Visible items. Sign here says opposite of light is unlight. Thanks. Thanks, sign. That's that's very informative. Well, you know, I mean, it actually is. Like, who is going to guess that the way to turn off a lamp is to type unlight lamp? I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this was a Scott Adams ism. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you know, because in other games it would be turn lamp off, but that's three words. So he had to invent a verb I've... for turning off something. Unlight was a Scott Adams adventure adve invention. I I don't recall any game using the term unlight before him. I mean obviously I came to this a little bit later. I didn't discover his stuff in 1979. It's possible that he got it from someone else, but as far as I know, he was the first to do it. I hear that word all the time. That's like a normal word in my vocabulary. Really? Yeah. Unlight something? Yeah. Yeah, it's huh. particularly things like candles or lanterns or things that have a little fire in them but aren't like a bonfire. You know, douse is the term that I would normally use for that. You would douse a candle or a douse a fire. But huh. that's good to know. Unlight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to find a way to use that next time you. Uh, I can think of a chance to do so. Crowbar it into ascendance awkwardly. <laughs> yes. Unlight your phone. That's, that's not how that works. <laughs> well, no. You, you could have the flash on. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> all right fine i cannot anyway you can, i don't i still don't think you can unlight a phone but i'm assuming this means i'm supposed to unlight my lantern to reveal some magic possibly maybe it's just trying to tell you about the verb well maybe like one of the passages are glowing and i can't tell because i, I have light okay never mind that was an excellent idea i wish it had occurred to scott adams i love it <laughs> this is down so let me just i need to make this now i want to point something out to you in case you hadn't already noticed it yeah you went you went down to come here yeah there's already a down there's another there's down. no there's no up. there's no up oh you're yes. right yeah and notice that this area is described as a maze of pits yeah so you're in a text adventure maze. Oh no! It's not. It's not a maze of twisty little passages all alike, but it is the the required text adventure maze. Uh, obligatory text adventure maze. Yes, thank you. That's the word I was looking for. You are. You have found the obligatory text adventure maze. All right. A common feature of a text adventure maze is that if you go north. You often can't go south to go back to where you were. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm going to put this maze off on a separate corner because I know this is going to go everywhere. Yeah, that's that seems wise to me. All right, so let's see. I can go north, south, east, and down. All right. Hmm. To the south? Let's... Gotta pick one. Pick one and start. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be a lot of... I, I might have to skip over this entire maze because this is gonna be a lot <laughs> of just marking shit on my map. Yeah. North. North, east, west, up. 2,000 years later. Aladdin? What are you, what were you doing here? Strange Scratchings on Rock says Aladdin was here. Again? Aladdin is spelled with two D's. But 
whatever. So this is nice. So we know that we're in a new yep. exits in every single direction. Oh, great. We're still in the maze. But it's nice that there's like a signpost here to help us distinguish this. Yep, not quite a maze of twisty tunnels all alike. That's good. All right, so we've got the Aladdin rock room. Let me just mm -hmm. see if going east brings me back. Yep. Excellent. And, um, okay. To the north, I guess. <gasps> Visible items, thick Persian rug and an arrow pointing down. Okay, rug is mine. Gonna save real quick in case this arrow is a trap. I'm suspicious of everything. Everything That's is a wise. trap of, until proven otherwise. Um, Smart. Down. I'm in the bottom of a very deep chasm. High above me is a pair of ledges. One has a pricked up window across its face. The other faces a throne room. Visible items. Golden net. Sign. Magic word is away. Look. La, rest of sign is missing. Stream of lava. Some obvious exits are up. Give me, give me that net, net. Give me net. No. Too much. Yeah. No. Ah. All right. Um, my inventory. Um, I already used the skeleton keys, so maybe I won't need them again. Are you, mark are you marking on the map where you drop things? Uh, I probably should, shouldn't I? No, you never know. I, it's up to you. So, mud, and then... Okay, wait, hold on. I've got to mark those last two chambers. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's so, pretty important. Which way did we go from the Aladdin Rock? Down. Oh, no, from the Aladdin Rock. We went north. Sorry. North, and then there was... The rug. Right, which isn't there now. But there is an arrow pointing down, which is still there. And then from, down from there brings us to um, this, whatever the hell oh, it is. A deep chasm. Yep. And apparently the throne room window faces out onto the chasm. Mm -hmm. Unless that's a different bricked up window, but that seems unlikely. Now that definitely seems like a clue there, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, maybe that sign meant said. Uh, okay, gotta drop the key hmm. and grab the golden net. Uh, maybe that is look lava. There's something there, all right. Maybe I should go there. I don't know about going into the lava. <laughs> Seems sketchy. Okay, what what happens if I say away? Apparently, that's the magic word. That's something I'm holding vibrates, and I'm and I'm out. The maze of pits. Well, you're you just went to the maze of pits. Yeah, but something you were holding vibrated. Everything seems to be there. Huh. So it didn't say that it was gone. Like when you're when you said when the axe vibrated, it immediately showed you your inventory to show you the axe was gone. This one didn't do that. Yeah, I don't know. But something. Something, it seems to suggest that uh, if you had said, say, away, and you weren't holding something, it might not have done anything. Yeah, maybe it was the, um, maybe it's the net, because that's the thing I got there. Maybe, maybe. All right, so back down from here. Um, save, and then go to the lava. That seems, well, I mean, yeah, that's that's the right thing to do, obviously. Yeah, maybe I won't go in the lava like the same thing with the pit. Exactly. Okay, no, I'm not allowed. <laughs> All right. Away! Can I do that again? Like, all it did was take you one room away. Yeah, what if I do it again? <gasps> I'm free! You're in the... You're in the sunny meadow. I have a teleporter that I can't control where it goes. But 
it's possible that is the only way to exit the maze. Perhaps. We never found the exit. I'm going to drop off my treasures and then see if I can still do it. Good idea. All right, so... That seems really smart. From the meadow, I go uh, east, south, and west. And... Stop. And... Drop rug, drop net. All right, can I, can I away? Save game, save game, save game, save game, save game, save game. Thank you. Always save after dropping off treasures. And now, away, nothing happens. Hmm. Perhaps I need the net. Try picking up the net and doing it again. No, it's the rug. It's the rug. Hmm. Because perhaps that was what the Aladdin thing was about. Maybe it's the, yes. the magic Aladdin rug. It's the flying carpet. Yes. Or in this case, the teleporting carpet. Yep, the teleporting carpet. Look at that. I'm in the maze of pits. It's awesome. And now you've got more inventory space. I do. All right. Um, got to mark off where exactly this this room goes. Okay. Um, north, south. That probably that takes us back to the Aladdin Rock, I think. East. Double check. Yep. Nope. <laughs> nope. Takes us back to the sign. Yes. God damn it. Uh, okay, wait. That sign... That sign was in... That was your very first uh, yeah, that was the, room. that was the first room. Okay, mm -hmm. so... I gotta go north. And mm. west. And... North. And change this because apparently going south here leads you all the way back. And okay, so. And I can go up here as well. Mm hmm. And I can go west as well. Okay. No, oh, geez. Uh, I'm going to go up, I guess. Or maybe north. I'll go north. Okay, I'm north just loops back. Okay. That's convenient enough. Um, up. I'm going to interject here. Mm -hmm. I think at this point you have found everything that is interesting in the maze. You may even have found every single room. I can't be sure, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing else useful down here. I have one more direction to check, and then I'll believe you. Okay. Um, okay, so from here, I go north. And feel free to drop edit that out. Mm. You know, okay. I just wanted to save you some time if you wanted to. Okay, and then uh, to the west. Um. Hmm. I think that's that one room that doesn't have a south exit. Oh yeah, we didn't explore this room actually. No, we haven't. Up. That brings me to the the west up room. Yep. Up and then south. And then light runs out in 84 turns. 24. 24 turns, sorry. Can I just relight it? No, I think it runs out of fuel is what it's saying. Ooh, okay. Do you know what uh, these kinds of lamps use for fuel? Ones that glow magical blue colors? No. Well, no, I... I a brass lamp. You know what a brass lamp refers to? Yeah. Do you know what kind of fuel they use? Uh, oil? Yes, exactly. Oh, so I should get... I have oil. You do? 
patches of oily slime. They're not just patches of oily slime. They're patches of oily slime. Yeah, that seems to be hinting at something. Indeed. Well, I'm almost done in this dark area anyway. That's true. I, at least we hope so. Yep. All I gotta do is I gotta check west. And that brings me back. Mm -hmm. Now there's a bunch of areas we haven't, or directions we haven't explored. In the, uh, in the Aladdin room and the arrow pointing down room. I thought we got, I think... Because each one of those has six directions, we, six exits. We got all the directions in the pointing down room, I think. Did we already? Oh. I think I might have missed one. Well, anyway. Yeah, it's probably, this is getting repetitive. Let's, mm -hmm. let's get out of here. No, no, further away. Rug. Thank you. Alright, I gotta unlight my lamp before it runs out. Uh, okay. What else is there to do? I could wake up the dragon and probably die. That sounds like fun. Okay. How would I wake up the dragon? Hmm. Mm -hmm. You could try wake dragon. I don't have my damn axe. What if I say bunion <laughs> again? Will it come back? Nothing happens. It ditched me. Ah. It, it it straight up ditched me. It's so mean. Yeah, freaking axe. Not my friend anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that won't ignite. You don't know that. <laughs> if it's organic, it burns, damn it. Uh, how would I pour the bottle on the dragon? <laughs> yeah. You could try just pouring the water and... If it does actually do something with the dragon, it'll probably fill in the, the details for you. Damn it. Oh. I think I just lost my water. Hmm. Well, you could probably... I mean, there's water at the lake. That was one of the listed uh, visible items. True. All right, I'll just get some more water. So that's to the east. Hey. You think... Now that you have a bottle with water in it, that maybe you could get the fish? How would I get the fish with a bottle of... maybe? Well, like, you know, it's like it's kind of like, you know, they have something to swim in, then they won't escape. Nope, that didn't work. I don't think the bottle... I doubt the bottle's big enough for the fish. Hmm. I wonder if I can take the sign. Just pull it out of the ground, bring it with me. Use it like an axe. Maybe if you take the sign that would allow you to uh, <laughs> to swim, a voice booms out. Please leave it alone. <laughs> I think you mean, please leave it alone. <laughs> nope, no signs for me. Damn, I wanted that sign. Dang. Mm-hmm. All right, what else is there to explore? Well, the bog's still here. I don't have a way to get out of it. Maybe I, I could probably right. away out of the bog. <sighs> Perhaps. And you could pick up the treasure before you do that. Yep. No! Uh, I, You're not carrying I'm, the... Oh my god, my Look. my my rug got wor got muddy. Muddy and worthless. The rug does not survive the bog. No. <laughs> Sneaky game. All right. Add yes. one to the fail count. One. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can hit. <gasps> P 
punch the dragon. Nothing happens. Mm-hmm. It's it's actually hard to wake up a dragon. Apparently. Okay, so let's uh, take a moment here, yes. perhaps, and uh, enumerate our puzzles. Yes. So we have uh, a treasure that's in a bog that we can't get out of when we enter it. Yep. Um, we have a room with bees that kill us. Yep. Although, notice that like when we uh, the first time we entered the swamp, uh, the chiggers bit you instantly. Yeah, and they did. Later times, they didn't. So it seems like it's maybe there's a random element there. Perhaps it's, po- it's possible that if we visit the bees, we might be able to do something before they kill us. Perhaps but they're probably going to kill us eventually, no matter what. But yep. Something to think about. There's a bricked up window, mm-hmm. which we don't know how to get rid of. Yep. There's something in the lava. Yep. And yeah, is that it? I think so. Maybe I could could use water on the lava and make obsidian all Minecraft style. Oh yeah, that's that seems plausible. I like the way you're thinking. All right, um, I'm gonna try to away again and see if I get a little closer. Uh, okay, right, right, bam. Aha! I've gotten very close. Indeed, that worked perfectly. Yes. All right. Um. Pour water. Sizzle. Huh. Hmm. Did you actually pour out your water? Check your inventory. Yeah, empty bottle. Yep. Maybe I can use the bottle to get the lava. Oh, I like that idea. Didn't work. Next time on Adventure Land. What okay. the fuck even is a chigger? <laughs> it's a little bug. I hate them. Yeah, they aren't they aren't well liked in general. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. 